Ah, yes, the sky is falling in Toronto yet again, and the Leafs are 4-4-2 and to start the season. But hey, it's only nine games, right? Well, listen, all it takes is a deeper look into what's really going on to see that this team is actually in shambles right now, both on and off the ice. This team has mentally checked out. And really, it kind of makes sense when you think about it, especially when you don't change anything significant about the DNA of this team's structure. They know the regular season means nothing, and you know what? They're actually right. They've had dominant regular seasons and still finish in the same spot every single year. But it's in the details that makes every Leaf fan sick and every other fan laugh. Last night, they lost to the Anaheim Ducks, the last place team in the NHL, and the Leafs had a 3-1 lead heading into the third. Now, we can talk about the brutal Marner turnovers or the Kerfoot early Selly to miss a tap-in or even the Shalgren misplay on the wraparound. But what I really want to talk about is the psyche of this team. Because for years now, they have been so fascinating to watch how they've crumbled in big moments. But this game was a microcosm of how defeated this team truly is. And it's not even a big moment in the season. This is game nine of the regular season against the last place team in the NHL. And Mitch Marner believes this is an appropriate time for him to go into the dressing room and break his stick. If you want to see what losing a locker room looks like, just look at this timeout from Sheldon Keefe. Is anyone even paying attention or giving a damn except for maybe Nick Robertson? It certainly looks like no one cares as to what Sheldon Keefe is even saying, or they're just simply tired of hearing what he has to say. Unfortunately, Keefe's management of these top players has been a coddle fest up to this point of the season. When he called out his top players against Arizona a few games ago, he was actually right. He was saying what a lot of people were actually thinking. The elite players on the Leafs aren't doing enough. But then he came back the next day and essentially tried to backpedal his comments. As a coach, it's a two-way street, but in Toronto, it seems like the stars run the show and everyone else is along for the ride. Is it incredibly early in the season? Yes. But this goes beyond just nine games. This is going on four years now with Keefe at the helm and even longer with this management group and core players. In Toronto, when things go bad, the problem usually becomes the team versus the media and fans. That's just the way it is when things go sour in this market. So I want to know who you blame for the Maple Leafs performance this season and really the seasons prior to this. Is it the players, the coach, the management, media? Let me know what you think down below. Knowing this core, they'll probably recover and go on to win their division, only to blow a 3-0 series lead to the Senators in the first round. That's just the joy of being a Leaf fan. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos on our channel.